Lee Bidet. Oh, Labor Day. Hi. So we now return to our irregularly scheduled streaming. Uh, I'm here tonight with only one game because the, uh, the thing I wanted to stream earlier um, didn't work. I tried to get it to work. I'll show you what it was. It's a new um, Nintendo system, in air quotes, that allows you to map the game as you go along. And you can zoom out and zoom around. And I was going to do that with a Metroid randomizer. And uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. It wouldn't let me map the controller. And I couldn't get the widescreen stuff. So I have to fuck around more with it. It looks cool. And I think it would be really good for Metroid because Metroid doesn't have a map system. So being able to just zoom out and find out where you are is perfect for Metroid. So I figured that with Randomizer would have been great. So I'll try to figure it out for a future time. Because this is going to be perfect for the Randomizer. Uh, instead, tonight, I bring you late Metal Gear Solid 2. I wasn't really home. Today, I have a couple pictures and stories. I went to an MC Escher exhibit that I just stumbled upon randomly, and I found a Big Daddy from Bioshock. I'll tell you more about that. Um, but let's let's get started with Metal Gear. You know, if you need a recap for the last stream I did... Vinny, did you stumble down the infinite stairs? That's a good one. Um, if you if you missed the last Metal Gear Solid 2 stream I did, it was a shit show, and there was a quest for porn. A porn magazine. A, po a porno, a pornograph, it just, it's called book. And then there was also a dead. So there's that. So, instead of, in lieu of me not being able to um, stream that thing I wanted to stream, the randomizer, I think Metal Gear Solid 2 for three hours seems like a good substitute. Let's do it. Also, how are you? Hope everyone's doing well, Saturday night enjoying yourselves and um, you know doing Saturday things well now it's Sunday things now it's Labor Day oh god I'm lowering the volume on Labor Day how was my weekend well I, it's pretty okay I can tell you about it I'll tell you about it I, um, interesting interesting weekend so uh, I didn't show up last night for anything stream or scum because the weather was was really nice but I'll tell you about that, too. Um, there was one bomb left, wasn't there? Oh, here it is, in the, in the stank zone. Also have to find decent volume levels, which I think I'm almost at. Wait, didn't I get this one? Freeze! Huh. Oh. Did I get this one? Huh. Why? Oh, so then, what happened? Did the, the bomb regrow? If you saved, it resets the room. Alright. Alright, let's do this then. We'll do this real quick. I needed to leave the room to save the progress I made in the room. What good to know for the future. Let's just shimmy backwards. I don't think Raiden's butt would get nerfed.
Here we go. By the way, this is pressure sensitive as well. So you have to press the button, like, real hardly. Very hardly. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4, and in huge yep, it's quantities. A bomb. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the Strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not it's immediately. Blood. There'll still be five Struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a Strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The Big Shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I made the calibrations while I was in the pantry. Does it work? I just tested it, and it definitely responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, Ryden. Well, there's your recap. And see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. Now okay. you know what's going on. I'll stand by until you radio in. So do I. So what do I have to do? Kidding. Uh, definitely kidding. Okay, so... We're gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what I did last night, because I streamed early yesterday. I went to the city, and went to the, the East Village, met up with, um, Sin City Assassin, who's in town. A good lad. His name is Douglas. Sorry to reveal your secret. But, I mean, you share a name with Captain Falcon, so that's not too bad. And, um... Yeah, it was good. We had a good time. You know what? He gave me... Pokemon. He gave me Pokemon. I want to tell you about that. Give me a second here. Um... I got Garfield Pokemon from the Pokemon Center. It's like pins. Or like keychain charms. And I got an Alolan Garfield and an Alolan Persian. So... Thank you for that. Um, there's also this image that we had discussed yesterday. We didn't see this, but I just want you to see this because he sent this to me and it's good. There is free Wi-Fi, there is toilet, there is Pokemon. That was, that was a good image. I just thought you might like to know about the Holy Trinity. That's all you need. You don't need more than that. The food groups, the, the major food groups. Um, and he also got me a bottle of wine, a small bottle of wine from California. And I'm happy to tell you that I'm going to be drinking it on stream tonight. All of it. No, actually, I'm just going to have a, a little taste because I'm not a big wine person, but it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. And uh, I like red wine. And I'm going to try it. All right, you ready? Here we go. This is food review. Let's see. That is good. That is good. Just drank it from the bottle. Thanks, Sin City. I'm a very classy individual. Yeah, I'm gonna get fucking drunk! I don't know how to describe wine, but I, I know that some people have devised a method for such things, like... It's earthy, it's nutty, it's got sweet, flavory, fruity tones. Um... It's... It tastes like red. So I don't know how to do any of that. Instead, I'm gonna say it tastes like alcohol. And, uh, good alcohol at that. It's a little wet, but a little dry. It fumbles the taste nurples. Great, all this talking about wine and Pokemon. Um, which which strut do I have to go to again, chat? I'm so sorry. I 
everyone has a different answer. Here's the dining hall. That's the one. Yeah, I have to go to where, um... Peter was hiding. Oh, I remember now. The last time I streamed this, we got the plot twist that our bomb defusal expert has been faking his leg injury for years because of the shame of not being able to defuse the bomb properly. It's a real... real fucking mess. Freeze. <gasps> Dear God. That's me trying not to shoot, by the way. The pressure-sensitive button thing is both awesome and kind of terrible at the same time. So the PS2 had this... Oh, what the fuck happened to your arm? Oh. The PS2 had the ability to, you know, had pressure-sensitive face buttons, which was almost never used in my recollection. I, I don't remember it, other than this game. And you can tap R2 to put the gun away without shooting. Oh man, that's perfect, thank you. But in this game, it's used to the point where certain items and weapons are, are... Wait, R2? No, it's not R2. Oh, 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 tap R2. I see, I see. But you can't be in first person for that. Hang on. Okay, let's, let's try it. So I'm in first person. If I tap R2, I just shimmy. Right, but if I get out of first person, then to- okay. Perfect. If they see you put your gun away, they'll attack. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. So I probably don't want to do that too often. You have to just not shoot them in the face. That's what I'm learning. Let me, t let me see what's up with my homies. Raiden, go pick up that sensor for odorless C4s. It should be in that room in strut C where you found Pete. Just ease off right. the shoot button and then you mute it. Yeah, yeah, that's it's just not... Told you about. The one that can detect odorless C4s. Yeah. Head for the kitchen. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, like, the pressure-sensitive thing is all well and good, it's just... Sometimes it... The glory of Kojima. Um, sometimes it doesn't go so well. Checking under the table. You never know when someone leaves a ration under the table. I mean, that chip blew me away when the game came out. Not as much as this. It's like, no! PlayStation 2 is so powerful. Peter, I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live. Which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! Damn! That hey, was it! What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down! What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. God damn right. it, Snake. Pliskin. Uh, just regular Pliskin. Down Hurry! Iroquois. What's the remaining time? 400 seconds. 400 seconds? Right, move! Get to the bottom of strut A now! 
Jesus. I'm telling you, this dude had a plan. Did you know that Iroquois means snake? Well, it's a good thing I'm saying snake then. It's not that it's a spoiler or, any or anything. I, I mean, I don't know. I just know that Pliskin is the guy from Escape from New York, like I said last time. So Snake, Snake Pliskin. You know, it's just weird that the guy looks so much like Solid Snake and has the same voice actor as, as he. But it's an unrelated character. Hey Snake, it's me, Master Miller. It's been a long time. Master, that was almost, almost a hint of an English accent. Have you been living in England? No, Snake. I mean, no, Snake. I've been, um, doing a lot of push-ups. Wait, didn't you lose an arm? Yeah. I can still feel it. Snake! Is there like chibi snakes in Japan? Like, do they have like, like chibi snake kun? In like, um, gotcha boxes? They definitely do, right? Snake Nenodroid? I don't know what that means, but it comes with a Fulton. Cool. Nendoroid. Is it what is it? How does he say it? Right. Bliskin. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave With a seven-foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there! There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Preskin, get Ow. away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. Oh. And it's really starting to like Pete. He had a bit of a character arc and everything. He's alright though, he's, I'm sure he's fine. Wait, what? Going the right way. There are many, many seconds left. But I could still very easily fuck this up. You've seen my gameplay. Secret technique, famous trick. 
at Dave and Buster's, they got the, the things that Jerma used his secret technique on. They're like nerds that you, sh you throw balls at. You know? Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. No, I didn't say nodes, I said nerds. Oh, there it is. Whew. Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel. Any damage report on the explosion? Repeat. It seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed. And the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high. But the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? Rescue the President. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. Okay. Can, you know, can we just, like, rearm the bomb to get rid of these fucking things? Well, now that we have a second of downtime, like, just a brief second, um, so I think I have this of Luigi. So this, this kind of figure I have. And, um, just real quick, uh, here's the, the big daddy. Sideways. But, uh, this is an industry city, which is one of the coolest fucking places. Micro Center is around there. It's in Brooklyn. And it's a bunch of old warehouses that are interconnected and turned into hipster places. This is a terrible, terrible image of me, but they had, at the MC Escher thing, they had interactive displays. Infinity. Infinity. Um, they had some of his famous paintings. And, clearly this is Twilight Princess. How are those not Okus? And I didn't expect to see Pink Floyd at an MC Escher exhibit. Reverse Pink Floyd, but they had that. Um, I'm not doing a good job with these photos. And they had the cover to Uma Guma, which is based on one of Escher's kind of principles. It was cool. It was really cool. They had this. This was one of his, like, more famous original, like, early works. So I recommend checking that out. And, um, you know, that, um, this was one of my favorites. The flatworms. And they even had the floor kind of done like uh, an Escher painting. So, anyway, that's about it. Just wanted to show you that. This is an unrelated image from the mall, one of one of many malls, where they had the fucking plug and plague that I streamed. They're just selling it like it's, you know, no big deal. No big deal, we're just gonna sell this terrible system with bootleg games that are unlicensed to be on the system. That looks like an NES to trick people. No problem. Raiden, the terrorist Escher's finest work. For our bomb neutralization. What? A hostage has been killed. Shot in the head. They shot one of them on the roof, just to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. God damn it. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the President. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt! They're all in danger! Jeff, be reasonable. I know what you're feeling, but you can't save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? Well, 
Looks like he's turned his radio off, too. I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? They haven't even gotten to planning that. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Raiden, go and rescue the President. You can start off by getting to the upper level of Strut A. A. I don't know, Colonel just seems... pissy. Finish me like you finished off my father. What? Otherwise, oh, you no, that no. Die. Wait, who? Crap. I have a daughter. That guy? Is this the daughter? I bet this isn't what he envisioned. Him. This could be interesting. You've seen the fires of hell, haven't you? Yeah, Raiden had nothing to do with it. Maybe you can give me death. My name is Fortune. Lucky in war and nothing else. And without a death to call my own. Hurry! Kill me, please! <laughs> Jesus Christ. So many characters in the Metal Gear series want death. Oh yeah. Here you go. Here's here's the music. This is the music I probably remember the most from from this game. Uh, you know what? No, no, the main theme that they can no longer legally use that. Sorry. Put me out of my misery now. Well, you're not magic. And luck can only get you so far. Oh my god. Alright, she is magic. Never mind. some reason I can't hit her. I don't understand. She's obviously impervious to attack. What are my options? Disengage her and get out. The elevator is still upstairs. My retreat's been cut off. Hang on until the elevator comes down again. Your weapons can't hurt her, and you need to stay alive. Use whatever cover you can find and invade her. Plisky. Mr. X. Gun defective? No, she just shoot. She just shooting a lot. Oh my god! I'm gonna need that elevator. I want to give her the gift of death, like she requested. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I was being hyperbolic. Right, Fat Man just contacted us directly. 
fat man called us? Yes. Looks like he placed a bomb on the heliport. He specifically asked for you, right? What? He's killed off Peter. Now he's after you. Why me? How Thick man. People are saying this in chat. Really not a good time for this. The countdown's already begun, right? Great. How much time do I have left? I'll show you the count. Four hundred seconds remaining. So he's planning on taking this place out. It he looks likes like that. he has a different agenda from that of Dead Cell. What about backup? A four hundred. No, there's no time. Which type of explosives is it? He didn't say. Seems our friend Fat Man is out of control. He'll actually try to destroy this place? Yes. This could unravel everything we've planned. But why would he do such a thing? Who knows? But he's nothing more than a stereotypical mad bomber now. He's completely lost sight of our ideals. And with it, his loyalty to Commander Jackson. All right. I'll take care of the wayward soul. It wasn't him. Unfortunate. I expected more of this. Fortunate. One. Real. But he couldn't kill you, I see. Completely useless. Then he's all mine. Later. Then. Now! Now! Why did Raiden take his silencer off for that? Vamp. Are you gone? No. No. That death was meant for me. Why am I the only one that can't die? I'm, I'm sure Alone you... again? Sure you cheated out of death again? <laughs> How long will you force me to live? What if you just sit on a bomb that, that fat man made? How much longer, Dad? You've punished me enough. Yeah, or like Jeff said, just jump into a volcano. Seems pretty, uh... <laughs> seems pretty foolproof. I thought you could give me peace. But you couldn't kill me either. <laughs> I don't mean to tear this apart. It's just fun. It's just, I feel like if Raiden just put the gun directly to the back of her temple, you know, the, or the side. Temple is the side. Yeah. To the temple. Apply gun directly to temple. It would jam. Okay. Well, what would happen to the volcano if she went down into the volcano? Would the volcano be a dead? There's no need for sorrow, Queen. I died once already. Damn. I can't die twice. <laughs> this character. Vamp rides this weird line for me. It's not the only thing he rides, but he rides this weird line of too corny, but also kind of memorable and cool. He, he rides a vampire car. The 
Clock is ticking, Raiden. Get to the heliport on the roof of Strut E. <laughs> I die already once. Oh, fuck. You can't kill me again. What are you, crazy? Come on, you you want... Hey, hey, uh, Raiden, you want beta breakers this year? Kind of, who are they hiring these days? Yeah, uh, I remember Metal Gear Solid 4 making me like Vamp a little bit more, even though it was, like, super fan y and silly. I didn't love Vamp the first time I played through this game. And no, I don't want to spoil Metal Gear Solid 4 for anyone who's watching the series in alphabetical order. <laughs> in chromatic order. In... Oh, there's a dude right there. There's a dude right there! Grenade. Yeah, Raiden can't throw a fucking grenade worth his goddamn life. Wait, I have to go up, right? Oh, shit. This isn't where I have to go. I thought it, it, it's up from E. Oh, it's up from E. I thought it was on the, um, dumbass. Okay, it's it's up from E. There were mines here. Oh god. Oh, I'm taking a big chance. Good. Over there. No. No one's here. Clam your tits. This guy's like what? Something happening? I heard an alarm. So this is the fat man from Kevin Smith's podcast. Finally, we meet. So when does Batman show up?
Wait until you guys see Fat Man. If you've never seen this game before, I think you're gonna love what you're about to see. You're gonna love my nuts. So you're the one. You're right on time, I see. I like a punctual man. Paul Eating is doing this voice? I am Fat Man. I am the greatest that humanity has to offer. And Can you hear it? Hear this rhythm? It's the rhythm of time. <laughs> and life. Don't you tell me this? <laughs> I used to hang around department store clock counter. Life is short. Wait, Barry Denon. Bombs tell the time with every moment of their existence, and nothing else announces its own end with such a fanfare. Glad you could make it. The party's about to start. It's not a pseudonym for Paul Eating, is it? Anyway, Yum. Think, yeah. Good year. Yeah. Let's drink the Stillman, shall we? If you destroy the big shell, you'll never collect your ransom. Ransom? What are you talking about? Talking about thirty billion dollars in cash. <laughs> I guess I'll join you for a drink, Fat Man. <laughs> so that's what's going on. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you'll know soon enough. And I could care less what they plan to do. My ambitions are much more simple. To be the most famous bomber of them all. You're nuts! No one's gonna give a damn about you! Oh yes, they will. I'll go down in history. As the man who beat Peter Stillman, that's the only reason I assisted them. Like hell you beat Stillman, he had your number. What did you say? You have nothing of his courage, or... <laughs> what are you laughing at? You have a dog riding? That croc died a dishonorable death six months ago. Six months ago. The liquidation of Dead Cell. Call it what you want, only the right stuff survived that hell. Set me free, you know. Open the way to a new dimension. So that I could become the emperor among detonation devotees. You're nothing but a common criminal, and that's the only way people will ever remember. How oh, dare you! I'm an artist! <laughs> that is why I dislike boorish military types. It's time to start the party! The party! This is how it works I plant a bomb, and it'll explode soon after that. If you prefer to stay in one piece, you'll have to disable my bombs. Laugh and grow fat. Let's move! There, there's just so much here. There's just so much to unpack about this dude. From the voice... ...to the personality, but especially the roller skates. Roller blades. a blast suit. You can do very little damage through the suit. Use the first person view to go for the head. The blast suit can't protect him from the impact of the shot itself. A series of rapid fire will knock him off balance and create an opportunity for attack. Use it. All right, Colonel. It's Colonel, Ryden. What, what are you talking about? I don't know, Colonel. Are you back yet, Pliskin? No, oh, god damn it. So, how about that shooting people in the head thing? I 
explosives. I love that his his main his main attack is roller skating through me. Whoa, dude! Whoa, slow the fuck down. You can knock him over with SOCOM shots, and then you can shoot him with the Trank, I guess. You should be you should be dead. Someone just said, is it Darth Vader? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. One. A two. A three. It takes three licks to get to the center of Fat Man's nothing. Nothing at all. Did I just- Oh no, book! Spent so long trying to get that goddamn book. What the fuck? What? What? What happened? One more. Cool, <laughs> cool boing noise when I knock into him. No! <laughs> Crawl over book? What would that have done? It back up. Oh. The party's over for you. That's what you think. Party. What do you mean? What did you
did you just do? What is this? I have beautiful hands. These delicate hands can craft works of art. Answer me, what the hell is this? It's the switch for the biggest bomb in the entire place. Huh? No use. Once it's activated, there's no stopping the count. Where did you plant it? Where is it? Somewhere in this area. Don't worry, it's very close by. Where is it? I can't do it. Go ahead, shoot me. I'm already dead. Damn. Think you can find it? When it goes off, it'll take the big shell with it. Tell me where I can find the bomb. That's your problem. This is the highlight of the party. Bring it on, I say. They'll be happy too. Someone just said in chat, check I the fupa. I here and start my legend. Too bad you won't be around to see the movies. Laugh and grow fat. You know, I've been sticking C4 up my ass two pounds a year for ten years. Good work, Raiden. Looks like all the bombs are neutralized. One of their main leverages is now gone. That leaves... Colonel, Fat Man didn't seem to know about the ransom demands. Intentionally kept in the dark, I'd say. He seemed to be coming from a very different place from the other terrorists. Mm -hmm. Raiden, a lot of hostages, our president included, are still in danger. Keep your mind focused on protecting them. <sighs> what are my orders? Rescue the president. We have no idea where he is. You haven't been in the central core yet. I suggest you start there. Wait, I have another call. Want me to take it? No, I'll go offline. Best to keep our presence unknown. How you doing, kid? Pliskin, is everything all right? Could be better. Looks like I was out cold for a while. How did you manage to stay alive? Had a little help from a friend. Friend? What His about name is the Ringo. Diffused. And Fat Man, too. That's good news. How's Shell, too? It's a mess. The bomb crippled H Strut. What about the toxins? The what? If the big shell blows up, the explosion is expected to produce massive amounts of toxins. Never heard anything about that. Huh? Well, looks like there's not much danger of that in any case. But the central core is starting to flood. It won't last much longer. Well, what about the president and the other hostages? They weren't in Shell 2. They must be in Shell 1. We need to get the hostages out of here now. It's too far from Manhattan for a chance. swim. What about the lifeboats? There doesn't seem to be any. Exactly. It doesn't make sense. So a chopper is our only extraction? Right. Get and it real. comes with a passenger limit. Intel has it that there are about 30 hostages. It'd take more what? than a single trip. We'll have to come back. Can you pilot a chopper? No, but I brought a gearhead with me. He's a good guy. I'll introduce you later. Pliskin, I'm on the heliport right now, but I don't see their Harrier. It's out somewhere. We better move now, then. Our chances with a Harrier after us are close to nothing. Do you know where the President is? No, that one's all yours. The President is at the top of our rescue list. These are our orders, Lieutenant JG. Your orders, not mine. What? See you later. So, interesting chat message that I was just about to respond to. We hear stories about you getting gifts all the time, but have you ever sent a gift to a viewer? And would you kindly consider sharing a story about it? I gave Sin City an egg. I don't think it was a fair trade. But I gave him an egg. Um, sometimes people send me stuff to sign, I send it back to him. Um, 
I have a cursed item that I'm going to show you in a couple days. Uh, so yeah, I mean, sometimes, I, I usually, when it comes to gifts, I usually end up spending two, three hundred dollars or more for convention gifts that I give away at conventions, like, um, Nutty Putty eggs, buttons, ninjas, kazoos, pickles. Identify yourself. I'm like you. I have no name. Are you Mr. X? Hmm. If you like. Suit has gotten a huge upgrade. Oh, come. Let's get out of the open. Follow me. Wait. Wait, no, no, no. I need, I need to crawl over the book. Is the book gone now? Shit. Are you with Foxhound too? Neither enemy nor friend. This sounds like Just season one, Counselor Troy. I am sensing disturbance. This is safer, I think. Safe from what? Eavesdropping, of course. All right. Why did you contact me? I've been ordered to give you backup, including the relaying of necessary intel. Ordered by whom? Why won't you identify yourself? There is no need for you to know. I'll decide whether I need to know. You are not yet trusted to make such decisions. <sighs> I'll tell you something you do need to know instead. The current location of the president. What? Or rather, the person who knows the current location of the president. Who is it? A secret service agent named Ames, currently being held with other hostages. Secret service, huh? The head of the president's security detail, Ames has been fitted with the same type of VIP nano machine system as the president. If you are within range, you should be able to communicate. Why are you telling me this? Do I need to repeat myself? There's no reason for me to believe any of this. You understand that? Of course, but you also have no choice but to believe. <sighs> Do you have any other leads? Where are those hostages? <laughs> the hostages are being held in the B-1 conference hall, in the Shell-1 core. You'll find Ames there. What does he look like? We don't know if it is indeed a he. I've never met this person either. How am I supposed to look for someone without even a description? Use your ears. What's that supposed to mean? Ames has a pacemaker. You'll be able to hear the machine sound in the heartbeat. You expect me to walk up to these hostages and listen to every one of their heartbeats? The sound is too minute to detect and amplify. You'd be captured immediately. So what am I supposed to do? Use the directional microphone. There's one somewhere in the core. I can see Raiden just putting his ear up to the people's chests. The security guard will unlock all level 2 security doors, including the one into the core. It's called a PAM card. It works together with your body's own electronic field. And watch yourself. The core is more heavily guarded than any other section of the big shell. You'll get nowhere just like that. Try this instead. One of the terrorists? Doesn't fit. The surveillance camera won't let you on the elevator without the right uniform. You want me to disguise myself? Men assigned to the core and those on perimeter duty are given different colors to wear. Your new outfit will work in some areas, not others. The uniform alone won't fool them either. You're talking about weapons. Right, you need an AK. But I saw them carrying an AN-94. All men assigned to the core section carry AKs. So without an AK-74U, someone will see through me really quick. You could take care of the weapon issue yourself. One other thing. There's more? You'll also have to pass a retinal scan to get into the conference hall. Here, have these eyeballs. I ripped them from someone's skull. Thanks, Biometrics. dude. Biometrics. Crap. Nothing but the real thing will suffice. Wouldn't surprise me, would it? Deception would it surprise you? Here. I suggest you hurry. They have a nuke on their side. The nuke? They have a nuclear weapon with them? 
You didn't find their continuing presence here unusual? Even with the president as hostage, this is an island, and they have no visible means of escape. Even if they do have a nuke, the warhead is no good without an access code. The security lockout can't be bypassed. They don't need to. They have the code. There's a snook in their snatch. You saw it too, I believe. The Navy man would have a handcuff. The other half of it is on the football, or the black case if you like. The nuclear football. Button. It's Tommy Wiseau. And now they have it. Why did they have to bring the football along? To a decontamination plant of all places. But they did have to. Because, after all, the big shell is the farthest thing from a cleanup plant there is. What? Dead Cell didn't have to bring a nuke along with them. It was right here to begin with. Nothing oh, is fair is what it seems. A cover-up? But why? For what? For Metal Gear that is housed here. Bum bum bum! Metal Gear? The very same. My metal nuke came from the airport Shadow Moses in free. This place is the R&D center for its newest incarnation. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Better ask games the rest. What's this for? You might be glad you have it. Keep the controller's vibration function on. What do a I need very a very small window for? of time where the phones look like that. It's now they're just fucking weapons. <laughs> you just use those to break into cars. You shouldn't, but you could. Colonel, who is that man just now? He's not one of ours. No, we have no one like that in our unit. He said that the big shell was housing a new model of Metal Gear. First I've heard of it. Colonel, what are you not telling me? I've been completely open with you, Raiden. I've told you everything. Is that everything you know? Or everything I need to know? Snap out of it, Raiden. <sighs> I'll have the Metal Gear rumor looked into. You need to make contact with this Ames. So you believe that, Ninja? Since we have no leads on the President's current location, we have no other alternatives. Right now, collect as much data as you can, including anything on Metal Gear. Are those my orders? Yes, they are. Disguise yourself as an enemy soldier, and infiltrate the Shell One Corps. Understood. You're saying words awfully strange, Colonel. Also, do we have to infiltrate the planet core? You subbomb bad, Raiden. That is why you should you so go to the planet core and rescue the hostages. Ja ja. The book is gone, but apparently there's a lot more porn later on in the game. Ja, ja. Bleep. Also, Colonel is not a good friend. I just want to say that. Colonel, you know, seems all right at first, and then he just doesn't tell people stuff. Doesn't tell Snake stuff, doesn't tell Raiden stuff. Are you hiding something from me, no. Colonel? Like, always. Who would want to be friends with someone like that? Oh, wait. You should check this scene out from the game. Long time no see. Snake, today's briefing is of the utmost importance. What is it, Colonel? I'll be telling you all about the Ford Focus SE. A Ford? A Ford? Yes, Snake, you should know. The yeah. Ford Focus SE yep, comes this is with real. a standard rear view camera. Plus, this it has is an very, very real. estimated 36 highway miles per gallon. 
EPA estimated 36 highway miles per gallon? That's did... remarkable. Yes, Snake. How the did... Focus SE is the perfect vehicle for driving around Shadow Moses Island. How? Colonel, let me stop you. I'm going to Fulton extract myself a Ford Focus SE right now. But Snake, that technology hasn't been used since <laughs> 1984. Snake. 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 It's real. H how recent is that ad? No, everyone shared that with me. Everyone shared that with me. Like people were tweeting that to me like crazy. But Nary sent me the one I could download. That was a 2016 commercial about. Well, or 2015. It proves that David Hayter can still do Metal Gear Solid 1 snake voice. Which I learned the direction for Snake later on in the series was specifically to be more gruff. So it's not like David Hayter was just like, oh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to sound like I have polyps in my throat. It was like he was given direction to sound like that. So, but I mean, people were saying that in chat. I didn't know. I mean, I thought later on in the in his career to get the snake voice back, he was just drinking a lot. That was what I had, I guess, heard. Interesting. So that dude wakes up, sees that every guard in the area is currently sleeping, and then just walks away. Two days away from retirement. Now, now he's suspicious. You know what would be great? A Ford Focus SE. Get you around the big shell quicker, right? Kind of want to know how they got the rights to that. Like, what kind of like Satan pact did they make with Konami? He's definitely down for shit like that. Yeah, it's just like you don't expect it because. At that point, Hater was not being used as Snake. So I wonder, yeah, I just wonder how that happened. Like, so they offered Konami money and they were like, hey, we want Paul Eating and David Hater. And then, then they offered David Hater and Paul Eating money. This, this is basically what Metal Gear Solid 2 is like. Like, you're, you're witnessing the rest of the game.
shoot then sleep Someone said, if you're bad, you mean if you're really good. If you're really good, you just shoot everybody in the head. Why are you late with your status report? What's going on? Respond. Really good. Like, really, really good. I could try sneaking, but why would I want to sneak when I could shoot people in the head? Honestly, the game makes it too easy to do that. You know, otherwise, most players would get spotted in the same room like ten times. Most players. I'd say. I'd say most players. So, um, I have to find an AK-74U for me. And more books would be good, too. If I could find more book, <clears throat> that would be great. Hey, I know a place in Manhattan that has plenty of book. What was the name of that place, Char? Just book. They have all kinds of book. It's called... Kino Kunia. Kino Kunia. But just the top floor. Just the top floor. No, not the Strand. Strand has book, too, but th that's not the type of book I'm talking about. Health materials for dolphin polishing. You gotta keep the dolphin smooth. Cypher. Cypher's like, what's going on? Oh, shit. So, so, um, okay, so this, this is where I have to go, but I was hoping for a level two door somewhere nearby. So that mm -hmm. I could. Who's there? So that I could, um, get new gear. Don't tase me, bro. Never in my life would I have expected a Metal Gear Solid game to have an achievement called Don't Tase Me, Bro. Also, that dates the HD collection a little bit, doesn't it? Wait, when did this collection come out for PS3, anyway? Not the Legacy Collection, the one with the three games. Two thousand one. So, when did the Don't Taste Me Bro <laughs> meme happen? Fourteen ninety-two. That's cool.
I think. Probably like a couple of years before that. 2007 was the birth of the Don't Taste Me Bro meme. That's like vintage memes by this point. That's 11 years old is, is a long time for memes. Like internet memes. I mean, the human lifespan can go well beyond that. Ideally. What am I talking about? What the fuck am I talking about? Good, yep, I meant to do that. <laughs> it was- it was just about to jiggle. He was just about to jiggle properly for me. Give me his dog tag. Just fell asleep. Like a second before. Out of his eye. Have a hard time seeing anything. His name was Dicky. Jamie, Doctor Dicky. <laughs> oh, I need more wine. Oh my God. Chad was freaking the fuck out about it. I was like, no, I'm not going to go there. I am not going to go there. I'm going to let this one this one pass. And then I noticed that it actually was Dr. Dickey. And I, I couldn't. <sighs> couldn't resist. That is a good wine. I don't think there's any level two doors here. Wine, Vinny, are you a housewife? <laughs> no, but my wife. She she bring wine to my home. You weren't here for the story, so I, it's okay. I forgive you. But I was given a small bottle of wine as a gift, and it's it's very good. It's from California. It's from uh, Sin City Assassin, who's a very generous lad. So I said, you know what? I need to do a wine tasting live on stream. Maybe several wine tastings of the same wine. Surprise, that's what it is. Nothing. This area, I always get caught. Gee, I fuck!
That's the pickle surprise. Raiden, what's going on? Raiden! Raiden! All are dead. Not just you, Raiden, you selfish prick. Who call who called in who called in the report? Move! That is the the Yarl. That is that is one hundred percent the Yarl. You got more soldiers for me? They're gonna they're gonna find these bodies. Or not. I just wanted to give him a little something, like a, like a little gift. Just before I die, the sound of the codec. No! Dead. Watch out, right. There are IR sensor traps in that location. Infrared sensors? Right. A booby trap connected to plastic explosives. Crossing an IR beam will trigger the detonation of a critical amount of Semtex. You will be killed. Make no mistake about it. Avoid contact with the beams at all cost. Got an M4 for what I need, like extra killing. Oh! 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 Fuck! You can't hold the button with this one. Normally you hold the button to prep the gun. Not that one. My foot is totally destroyed. It was probably nothing. I will never be able to walk again. Must have been a mosquito. Four of my toes have been disfigured and detached. Must have been the wind. Sleep. Whoa, 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 is that guy sleeping? Standing up? The fuck was that? Stunned?
I, oh, I shot the, the exclamation mark. You can do that. I forgot about that. That C4 was in my ass. It was a good party. Sound of slumber party. I don't trust this room. There it is. Looks like you've got an AK. Get real. If you wear an enemy's field outfit and carry an AK, you can pass for one of them. Listen up, kid, and don't forget this. Only the guards in Shell 1's core are armed with AK rifles. The others are armed with the AN-94, the official rifle of the Russian army. If you hope to disguise yourself as the enemy, you don't want to be carrying an AK outside of Shell 1's core. Okay. Soldier. Soldier, where is your gun? You're using the wrong gun. Here we go. Maximum stealth gameplay. There was a hoverbird there? I didn't see a hoverbird. Got a minute, Jack? Rose? I found some information on where Solid Snake is interred. Great. Shoot. I've located the grave site. And the body? Exhumed for DNA testing. Well, do you have the results? The right arm was missing, but there was no doubt that it was him. That body uh -huh. belongs to Solid Snake. Hmm. So the head of the terrorist group must be... An imposter. Right. You sound disappointed. I guess. I guess I was kind of hoping to meet the legend in the flesh. I get you. But it looks like he's not behind this incident. Raiden, the president needs you, I think. Disguise yourself as enemy personnel and infiltrate the core section. I think your priority is to contact Agent Ames. It's a really bizarre line. The president needs you, I think. Pliskin, do you read me? What's up, Raiden? I just ran into a guy decked out like a, a ninja. A ninja? Yeah. Do you know anything about this? No. Can you trust that costumed freak? I don't know. But the colonel told me to follow the guy's instructions. And like a good soldier, you'll do it, right? I'll let you in on a little secret, kid. The ninja that was publicized in the Shadow Moses incident no longer exists. The guy you met has no connection whatsoever with the incident. And how do you know that? Because I do. Huh? Just be careful who you trust, okay? Well, how can I trust you? Who are you? I'm Pliskin. 
Pliskin, do you know anything about a Secret Service agent named Ames? Ames? You've heard of him? Uh, no. Listen, if you know anything... No, I got the name mixed up with someone else. Forget it. What do you mean, forget it? Just what I said. Forget it. I... Talk to you later, kid. Jack, have you ever heard the expression from the notebook? What can I do? A true you, love only lasts as long as your memory or whatever. I've never seen the notebook, so I don't have a quote from it. Like Mei Ling has all these great proverbs. Otacon tries to repeat the proverb proverbs but fails. And then Rose just tells you lines from rom coms. Jack, I know you're probably doing fine, but don't get discouraged. Remember, Lieutenant JG Pliskin is with you too. You'll be alright. What's wrong? Nothing. Don't give me that. Every time you say nothing, it's always something. What's wrong? It's just that, you know, you seem to think pretty highly of him. Well... Yeah, Pliskin's the kind of guy you can really depend on, isn't he? What? What? <laughs> yeah, Pliskin is one heck of a man, isn't he? He's so cool, so confident. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? But he's nowhere near as cool as you. You'll always be my number one. Always. But that's not going to I wretch. <laughs> you know, you're kind of cute sometimes. Bye, Jack. My new code name is Dry Heave. Do you, what do you think of it, Pliskin? Pretty cool, huh? Not bad, but not as good as Liquid Snake. What? Like, well, like dry is like the opposite of liquid. I thought it would be cool. Jack, have you ever seen the 1999 James Cameron film, Titanic? Did you see the part where... Jack... brings Rose to the top of the, top of the ship, and then he's like, I'm the king of the world and all that? Can you do that with me when we get back? The top of the ship? I'm, and he goes, I'm the top of the ship! Do you remember that, Jack? We can be like them, if just for one day. Do you remember the plank of wood that Rose was on at the end of Titanic that was clearly big enough for the both of them, but somehow Jack still decided to get himself cold drowned? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What was that about, Jack? You wouldn't do that and leave me alone for the rest of my life to relegate it to a life of sadness and misery because my true love was too stupid to get on the plank of wood that I was on. You wouldn't do that, would you? I'm the front of the boat! If it works, it works. Hello, so soldier, friend. Hold 
So how about this game? Can someone explain what the fuck is happening? Good interaction. So how do I pick up the book? Because it's it's kind of not letting me. Hold it. What are you doing? Who is that? It's the enemy. I need help. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Sergey is always sleeping. The book is now used. Oh, I see. I see. You, you can't reuse book. I'm- I'm in full uniform. Stop! You could, you could reuse a book. Why not? Why can't you reuse a book? You- you don't think they reuse book at sperm banks? Thanks. Now leave me alone, all right? Let me let me hang out in my locker. All right, now I'm good. No sneaky people here. Clear. Clear. No sneaky people here, either! I'm starting to suspect that one of us could be the intruder. I think it's this guy. This guy right here, he seems to be intrusion. He was looking at porno. I caught him looking at porn. Seize him. to continue looking at porn? Yes or yes? Retinol pattern recognized. You are cleared to enter. I don't know what that was. It is very weird. 
if you hit it at an angle, like sideways, it, it'll like, you know, cave in. Oh, it's a bookshelf. What kind of book do they have here? Dog. Jar Jar Binks on the right. Jaja ja, ja. from look from here, dude. That's Jar Jar. All clear. Is it really Jar Jar? Come on, that ca it is. That has to be. It's a cat. Wait, it's a cat. It doesn't look like a cat. It looks like Jar Jar. Hang on a minute, hang on. Let me just... Let me just do this real quick. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm looking for a good image. This, this isn't the best image, but... I think it'll, it'll probably have to do. I mean, the features are kind of there. All right. I'm just now convinced that that's Jar Jar. There's, there's nothing anyone can tell me otherwise. Vinny, it's a cat. Hang, hang on. Okay, hang on a minute. Squinting. Oh, it's a cat. You're right. Damn it, all I did was bump into somebody and my outfit came off. <sighs> Don't you hate when that happens? Not getting caught, but you know when you think it's Jar Jar, but it's a cat. Was there a noise just now? No. Hmm? Hey, you. Just wait a minute. What are you up to? I'm good. Did you hear something? Oh, that didn't work. I need more book. Some doors just collapse inwards. So there's nothing you can do about those doors. Okay. We've seen a man changing rapidly out of his outfit and back in. We we think he is magic, but then again, there are at least like seven other people on this base that are magic. So we are not surprised. We will not be calling this one in.
There is a board here. Please, not it's poster. Kojima just loves reference referencing himself, doesn't he? The fuck is this view? So there's a book on the locker. Just don't know how to get up there. Punch these lockers. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that's a lot of book. I saw a soldier doing a flip by the window. Fucking porn. Oh, it's not porn exactly, is it? Eyeballs. Top of locker. <laughs> you have the directional microphone. According to our information, Ames has a pacemaker. This should make his cardiac pattern fairly distinct. Use the directional microphone to locate it. Hey, you, just wait a minute. What are you up to? Top of locker, top of locker. How dare someone do crouches in front of me? These not leg day, comrade. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's Labor Day. This is a magical bird. Like fortune. Nano machine, son. Mark S. Eaton Fry. Not as good as Dr. Dickey, but still pretty good. Top of 
locker. Top of locker. Good morning. Good morning. What? You could speak. What the fuck? Top of locker. Top of locker. Are you Ames? Jack, that's a bird. You must be Ames. <laughs> you must be Ames. Whoa, whoa. You must be Ames. You must be Ames. Whoa, whoa. Get a call from Pliskin. Are you that stupid? I did something like this in VR missions. I was told you that this is something I should be doing. You must be Ames. You must be Ames. You must be Ames. Yeah. You must be Ames. You must be Ames. I taught the bird. Top of locker. Top of locker. Hell yeah. Think about it, the lockers in this game were like one of its main innovations. Never before were lockers so meticulously and realistically done. Kajumbo outdid himself. It's like that time Frank broke his nose and then had to put on a beauty pageant. Or it's like that time Frank gave himself a tapeworm so he could give it to Charlie. Such a nice man. What did he name the tapeworm? Oh, it was Jerry. He, ca he called the tapeworm Jerry. Um, okay, so here's a question. Here's a question. He did it to make... Charlie jealous. That's right. That's right. He, yeah, to slim down for Charlie. Sorry about that. He, but he did it for Charlie. But um, where where am I uh, going for eyeballs? I am I am hyped for the new season. I hope it's good. Just knock someone out. Oh, okay. Are you going to shoot me? No. I'm gonna fucking murder you. <coughs> you convinced yet? <coughs> oh. You must be Ames. The retinal scanner does not work on anything but living and open eyes. Oh, Don't knock the man out either. 
Be careful. This is the, really the fastest way to wake someone up. Ice their testicles. Retinol pattern recognized. You are cleared to enter. Well, th that dude was very much awake. He's dead. How do you know? I can smell it. Raiden, one of those hostages in there is Ames. The only thing we know is that Ames wears a pacemaker. His heartbeat should sound different from other people's, so use the directional microphone to locate directional him. Directional microphone. Once you recognize Ames by his heartbeat, keep the microphone pointed toward him. Then push the action button and call out to him. If it really is Ames, he should respond in some way. What if it's the wrong person? The guards may get suspicious and come running instead. Security could get tighter, too. Try to be sure before you take the risk. Don't call out to a hostage with the action button until you're fairly sure that it's Ames. If you do make a mistake, switch the microphone for an AK and get out of there before a guard gets suspicious. If you're discovered inside, they'll cut off your retreat and call in the reinforcements. You won't make it out of the room. The mission will be over if you're discovered. Don your disguise and look for aims while deflecting the enemy's suspicion. You could just use the trank dart on everyone. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. I still have images of Jar Jar Binks up on my screen. I just want you to know that. And uh, I scrolled down a little bit, and this is the one. Like I saw, this was on my screen for the past, like, 10 minutes. That finger. Does that look a little weird? It's like a fucking hot dog sausage finger. Okay, time to use your pingoers. Your aims, aren't you? Your aims, aren't you? Hey, you! Just wait a minute! Huh? Who's that? Freeze! Why, you didn't even see me! Ah! Right, what's wrong? Right! Right! It was just box! Uh, someone told me to make one of the hostages pee. You can- you can make a hostage pee. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1, in the Shell 1 core. No problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Your aims, aren't you? My name's Jennifer. I I didn't see any I didn't see any
I mean, your last name could be Ames. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the shell one. You're Jennifer. Stay away from me. You're Jennifer. Stop! Don't touch me! You're Jennifer. You're Jennifer. Stay You're Jennifer. away from me! You're Jennifer. You're Jennifer. You're Jennifer. Stop! You're Don't Jennifer. touch me! Possible hostile sighted. Send backup. Well. Wait a minute. What are you up to? Hmm. Just being a guard. Doing guard things. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Just, just moving around like a guard. Who could be Ames? You're Jennifer. No problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Got my man. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Your aim is right. No, I'm Jennifer. No, my name is George Dekai. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. You must be Ames. Oh, my. Keep still and listen to me. I'm not a terrorist. I got in here using one of their uniforms. I'm taking off the tape. Stay quiet. Who, who told you about me? An informer calling himself Mr. X, dressed like a ninja. I see. Take this thing off me, will you? A ninja, huh? Seems reasonable. I'm Richard Ames. The Secret Service? No, I was set in by the Lali Lule Lo, just like you. What? You're here to find out where the president is. Oh shit. We have little time, so I'll be brief. How about switching to nanocommunications first? Nanocommunications? Right, silence beats talk when it comes to safety. Right here. Do you really know where the president is? Almost certainly. He was moved to the Nano first communications. floor of Shell 2's core section. The first floor. The it's core like telepathy? of Shell 2. Is he still there? I don't know. I can't get a response. You don't think he's been like the other hostages? Hmm? A hostage was killed in retaliation after the SEAL-10 disaster, remember? What are you talking about? Hmm. Regardless of what they do to other hostages, 
They won't touch the president. What makes you so sure? The case. You mean the nuclear button they took? Right. And the case won't do a thing by itself. That case may be the single most advanced example of a weapons failsafe system. The password is nothing less than the physiological data of the U.S. president. Physiological data? The president's own vital signs, heartbeat, brainwave pattern, blood pressure and so on, are constantly that? monitored and relayed by his internal nanomachines. This information, along with the DNA pattern, serve as a biometric password. Lost. Unbreakable even by the latest parallel processor supercomputers. You know the password entry itself cannot be performed unless brainwave patterns and heartbeats fall within normal parameters, rendering chemical and other forms of coercion impractical. In other words, the login must be made of the president's own free wow. will. Wow. As a failsafe, the input must also be reconfirmed hourly, even after the initial login. If a valid confirmation is not forthcoming, the system will automatically cancel the login. And that's why they can't harm the president. At least until the bird flies. Is there really a new model of Metal Gear here? Absolutely. The black case serves as the launch key to Metal Gear as well. Why would they hide Metal Gear in an offshore plant? Haven't they told you anything? The entire thing was planned. The oil spill, the tanker accident that caused it, everything. The big shell was built specifically for the development of a new Metal Gear model. The inspection tour was to check its progress. What's going on around here? Wait. Here comes Snake. That's him? The Solid Snake. Use the microphone to listen in. <laughs> it's our... Fat man is... It doesn't matter. Saved us the trouble of getting rid of him ourselves. Why did he betray us? Who knows? They're a band of lunatics to begin with. Nothing they do should come as a surprise. I'll have his background rechecked, just in case. You think he was working for them? We can't discount the possibility. Especially that intruder still at large. Yes. The man in the sneaking suit. You know more about those suits than I do. But Foxhound was disbanded. Oh. Just to get hit with a bell attack. What luck. What about the damage to Shell 2? <laughs> the circulation system for the contaminated water has been damaged. The water being drawn in is overflowing, and the lower block of the central section is flooding. Seal the connecting pathway between Shells 1 and 2. The Simtex and IR sensors are already in place. Any effect on it? No. What about the President? The password entry has already been made to the black case. In one hour, we'll need a confirmation from him. His work is done after that. Make sure you keep him alive until then. Yes, I know. What about the unit's activation? Almost complete. The code has already been entered. All we need now is for the girl to start the system. The usual method, I assume? No. The drugs took care of everything. Mm. Only a few more steps to outer heaven. Oh. <laughs> Who is that cyborg ninja, Shalashaska? I cannot even guess. What about you? I'm having the matter looked into. Olga, don't cast suspicion where it isn't due. Where it isn't due, when you watched my father die and did nothing. It's been two years ago, Olga. Let it go. I read the case file for Shadow Moses, by the way. Oh. Johnny, please. It's not one of my men. How meaningful you make that sound. If Sergei were still alive. If the old man were still alive, I wouldn't need to take orders from you. Olga. Sergei was my best friend. If you sell us out, I'll kill you myself. Listen, daughter of Sergei. 
Don't ever let me see your gun pointed at me again. If you wish, I'll put a bullet in your back instead. I took you both in when no one else would. You think any government would have you as irregulars in this political climate? The worst kind of wet works, maybe. But even that's doubtful. I recommend against switching camps. You've nowhere left to go. There's nowhere else to go. I've come to think of it, that commander chick really reminds me of someone. <gasps> it's happening again. This damn right arm. Liquid! It's almost as if it's having its revenge! How much do you think we spent on that arm in Lyon? The best transplant surgery team in the world. I never trust a Frenchman. Uh, yeah, boss, uh, There's something going on. The incidents are becoming more frequent. Maybe that man's presence. Ocelot, I leave this place in your hands. I have the intruder to take care of. Yes, King. King. Is that really Solid Snake? That's what he claims. I thought Snake was dead. Solid Snake did die. That, that, but he's that, also that, here in the that, shell. That, Either he survived that, or there are two that, of them. Two of them? And that's impossible. Just the, the way the mouth moves. Anyway, what did you manage to catch? Anyway, they we don't feel like animating the scene further. Complete. I thought so. You said the password entry into the black case had to be made by the president willingly. That's right. So this means the president is cooperating with them. It would have to be, yes. Why? Probably tired of being a puppet, but it wasn't a smart move to betray us. A puppet? We're running out of time. They will fire a nuke. You know what you need to do before then. Fire the nuke? But it's nowhere close to the ransom deadline. Ransom? Thirty billion dollars in cash. What are you babbling about? The nuclear strike is not a threat. It's been the objective all along. They plan to slaughter millions of people. No, a high altitude detonation. You've heard of the Compton effect? Total disruption of electronic equipment caused by EMMA pulse. Textbook answer. Well, when an average nuclear warhead goes off within the atmosphere, the result is an electromagnetic pulse of up to 50 billion megawatts. The EMMA field can reach tens of thousands of volts per meter, and most electronic equipment will be toast in an instant. If one of the key movers of world economy stops functioning, it could mean the beginning of a global depression. But that isn't their aim. What they plan to do is liberate Manhattan, pull it offline and turn it into some kind of a republic, hence Sons of Liberty, I suppose. Sons of Liberty? Damn! Ocelot is coming. I'm going offline. They're gonna turn it into Escape from New York, and then Snake Plissken is gonna go save them. Search my pocket. Hurry! No, the it's other one. Code. Lower. We'll be able to unlock doors of up to level three security. Use it to get to Shell Two. Take care of the president before they launch the nuke. He's coming here. Pick up your AK. What? I had 10 seconds? What do you think you're doing? I asked him to remove these. I'm ill, you see. I always knew that the DIA turned out second-rate liars. What are you talking about? No need for denials. We know what you are, Colonel Ames. They knew that the President was planning to betray them. So they sent you in to keep tabs on him. Am I right? You! Sorry, Colonel. You failed to carry out your duties. You'll never escape the Lali Lule Lo. Is that so? What the? You... You... You tricked me. I understand now. Ocelot. What the 
fuck? Fox die is still going on? I thought we were Fox live you, now. Which team are you with? Show me your face. You know who he is. No, he is not one of mine. He's not the Nord. Identify yourself. <laughs> we meet at last. I wanted to listen to more piss. Look at that. Ocelot has learned to avoid getting his arm chopped off. That's a character arc. No more mask. Colonel, Ames is dead. Looked like a heart attack. Hmm, that's unfortunate. However, we do at least know where the president is. So there really is a new type of Metal Gear in this place? Apparently. We're still looking into it. I've also been told that the nuclear strike was what the terrorists were after from the start. Not the 30 billion dollars. Right. It was a cover-up all along. Colonel, what are you keeping from me? I am not keeping back anything. It's not as though I'm told all the facts either. I'm pulling in all the favors I can to look into all this. Just be a little patient. Our priority should be with the president right now. We can take it that they've completed the password entry and are preparing Metal Gear for a nuclear strike. Get to the president as soon as possible. But the president is cooperating with them. According to Ames, yes. But it's also true that they're about to get rid of the president. There's something else going on here. And the president may be able to tell you what it is when you see him in person. Ah. Once they get the confirmation from nuclear launch, they'll do it. You need to rescue the president before then. Jack, I agree with the colonel. You need to protect the president for now. All right. Isn't Rose just like his girlfriend? With no formal military, like, training or anything. But yeah, she probably knows what's up. She knows Excel? Well, that's pretty good. It's a shame about the DARPA chief having a heart attack at that weird convenient time. I mean, Ames. Who is that? Sneaking suits have to be so form-fitting that every, like, every butt cheek, all four butt cheeks are visible. Where am I going? What am I doing? Okay. Oh my god! Hmm? 
looked like he was about to call and he stopped himself just before I shot him. Who can say where the road will go? I think he was talking about Enya. Enya is great music! What's that? Yeah, they still can't see more than three feet in front of them in this game. In Metal Gear Solid 3, they get a bit of an upgrade, and then 4, they get an upgrade, and then 5, they can see for miles. If I remember correctly. Ocular implants. As a soldier in the army of whoever crazy bastard like Skullface or whoever, you have the option. You can get an ocular implant, so you can see for a great distance and be really effective on the battlefield, or you can get a penile implant and extend, extend yourself like three or four inches. Like, it gets uncomfortably weird and long, and, but everyone goes for the penile implant. I need some help here. Good. I like, um, I like fumbling with the controls at crucial moments. So in Metal Gear Solid 1, when you press square and X at the same time, that's how you run. With your gun out. In this game, it's square and L1. So I'm still retraining. God damn it. Maybe Stillman will. Uh, I thought I might get something from Beyond the Grave. Right, this is not good. Enemies in Shell 1 are systematically searching for you. It looks like they've tightened security considerably. Watch yourself. Get out of Shell 1. According to Ames, the President is on the first floor of Shell 2's core. Cross the connecting bridge from the north side of Strut D to get to Shell 2. That's where you need to go. Meanwhile, I'm just looking for the party! Had to be done. Anyway, they're just stunned. Not that one, that one's dead. See, they're stunned. They're gonna be fine. They're gonna just, just drop to the abyss. Sploosh. Level? I don't know, I haven't really been fucking with the grip too much.
So, like, I don't even know how many more pull-ups I have to do to get to level two. Probably, like, another 70. You don't really need to improve it. It's just for fun. It helps a little bit, but I don't do nearly as much of that stuff as like I don't I don't go over the edge a lot. The best way to do it is to drop a level and catch a rail. Go over the edge. Would you guys still watch me if one day I just started dressing like goth and started like talking about the darkness, the internal darkness? Like I just became like a, a novelty goth streamer. That's how I do it. I just do a lot of that. Oh, dog, dog. I get a sponsorship from Hot Topic. Again, Hot Topic, it's weird these days. You go in there, they're, they're playing the doors. Love me two time, babe. It's like, wh what? Like, ten years ago, they were playing Cradle of Filth. And I only know the name of that band because I knew someone that was a fan of them, and I thought that was the funniest fucking name for a band ever. And then there's a band called Him, which, I'm not shitting on the music because I don't know the music. I'm sure it's lovely. I'm sure it's just wonderful. But there is a band called Him, and I, I found that to be very, very humorous because, like, him. And then I found out what it stood for, which is His Infernal Majesty. So I wanted to have a band called He, Thick, His Eternal, Thick, His is Cock Cock. Go back into that other area and see if there's a door in here that I missed. Because I, I know there's some level 3 doors that might have some good stuff in them. Should I go do that? Should I do the, um, should I go look for the stuff in the level 3 doors? Or should I just move on, story-wise? My question is, is it worth it? It's all in strut F. Okay, so apparently I, I should get the item in strut F because it'll be good. Is there a way to have like a box take me to a, um, an area that I want to go to? F is like two feet away from you. So it is. Why are you late with your status report? You know what? No, let's do it. Someone said box four. I want this is a, a test. It's I want to test out a theory. His infernal thickness.
box five for a pep secret? Was that the pep secret? I'm, I'm a box. Why would you do this to a box? I can't fucking win, man. When I go to... Strut F is always a nightmare for me. Boxes don't move. They can move! If there's a particularly strong draft. Soldiers have been upgraded. Just fucking do it. Isn't that nice? Nothing here. Let me show you the true art of stealth. They just found the missing man. Where did my book go? Did they use the book? Book has been used. It was wasted, wasted book. God damn it. Alright, listen to me. Listen to me. I dropped I dropped a book and it wasn't used properly. You were going to look at the porn. Whether you want to or not. Again. The situation is normal. All clear. Ow! Oh! intruder sighted. Send additional personnel. Turns out I can't stealth very well. Come on! 
he looked at me and I died. Right, come in. Right, right. <sighs> Tacti tactical espionage failure. Let's just not worry about the book, shall we? Let's, let's not try to force people to look at porn. This is how your kids turn out weird. You're not supposed to look at porn with your children. RGB6? Red, blue, green. Red, green, blue, six. Hmm? There's somebody. Wait, I thought I was getting the PSG. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. PSG. So I have to get back to Strut D. And uh, then I can move on to the next shelf. And since I started late tonight, I'm probably going to go for like another 25 minutes. Not like I don't usually stream until this time anyway. Okay, what box takes me to the next strut? You know, the one directly north of here. Which... Which box is that, chat? Oh, let me do box five, because that's apparently an easter egg. Box five. Okay. The Easter egg is that the conveyor belt just shuts off because it hates you. See what this item is. I've been looking at this item. DG camera. Digital camera. Pictures taken instantaneously. Please, get me on the conveyor belt. Fuck off. Whoa, I'm walking on- walking onto the- Okay, so you have to- okay. I see now. So you have to stop moving, and continue to stop moving, until it has come to a complete stop. But, if you wait too long, then the belt goes again. Just give me some more wine. Just, just a little bit more wine. This isn't Strut D. Walk there? It's so far away. 
It's like that Creed song. It's a far away. Leave love in my hands. Far away. Just leave it in, in my hands. In my hands today. In my, in my, in my. Is that Creed? That's fuel? <laughs> what, what, what band even is that? I thought that was Creed. All these years. That was that's stained? Oh, shit. My world has been overwritten. Jack, how's the mission going? Fine. Fine? Is that it? Look, I really don't feel like talking about. I was in a mission, box, Rose. At least with you. I want Not to talk mine, about something Jack. Else. Okay then, let's talk about you. Me? Yeah, your least favorite subject. That's not. Oh yeah? Then go ahead and say something. Like what? Anything. Tell me something about yourself. I can't think of anything interesting to say. Why do you want to talk about me so badly? Because I'm curious. But why? Is it really that strange to want it's to not know a surprise more about that someone you love? Got no, interesting it's not to say. strange, but. You know, sometimes I. Oh look, now we're talking about me, not you. Oh Jesus Christ! Why won't you tell me anything about what you were like as a child? What kind of things you liked to do? What kind of people your parents were? I've never heard you talk about any of that. Why? I. Don't you think it's just a little bit unusual? That I don't know anything about my own boyfriend's past? Rose, when I get back, I'll tell you everything. Is that a promise? Yes, it's a promise. <gasps> oh. Far away, so leave love in my hands. So far There's somebody there. Away. Excuse me. No, that wasn't a burp. That was me singing. By the way, no more wine. Like, I, I appreciate it. But, you know, don't get me any wine. Like, if, if you're my friend or whatever. Just don't do that. Wine! Gods, I was strong then. Get the breastplate, stretcher! Yet somehow my aim is impeccable. This whole stream, I haven't got caught once, I haven't died once. Stealth. You can't see me, they can't see me. Where have you been? Checking around. I'm in Strut H right now. How's the situation over there? We have a lead on the President's location. Where is he? Shell 2 Core, the first floor. I'm cut off from the core where I am. It's a mess here. All right, I'm on my way to Shell 2 right now. There are IR sensors in place on the connecting bridge between Shells 1 and 2. If you break the beams, the Semtex will go off. Yeah, I heard them talking about that. Target the control units and destroy them. Make sure you don't shoot the Semtex. What do the control units look like? Take a look with your binoculars. Binoculars. How come we don't say that? How come it's got the pronunciation it has? That's the Semtex. And that must be the control unit. Do you ever wonder 
what is now for you isn't now for somebody else. Like my now might be your future or your past or your now might be somebody else's past. Think about everyone who's ever lived. For them, when they were living in, in the, their moment, it was... Anyway, so I gotta shoot these... these green things. Raiden, you haven't destroyed all the control units yet. Use the first-person view or the sniper scope to look around. All right, I have that now. Thanks, Colonel. I almost blew up everything. Oh, man, I'm gonna need some drugs for this one. See that, that flag they have? It's just a danger noodle. Whoops. Oh, it's a casualty of war. It sucks, but, you know, what else can you do? Sometimes collateral damage happens, and you can't do anything about it. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, bad things happen to good birds. Did I manage to get those thermal goggles before? Yes, I got them. Is that one of them? Structural damage taken. I seem to be injured. What is this sensation I'm feeling? P pain. Still more. Oh, there's one behind the flag. I give up. This sequence is taking far too long. In 
the Metal Gear Solid Game Boy Color game, the cigarettes were placed were replaced with like a smoke machine. I got that one. I got all my bullets back. And my truck. You can zoom in and stuff. Look at that. You think of everything, Kojima. I already ordered a pizza. Oh, I then. You know how I know Tommy Wiseau's a fucking liar? When Lisa combines scotch with vodka, and then Tommy's like, I don't, you, I can't drink this. Cause he's never like had alcohol before in his life. He's like, no, I don't drink. And then it's just straight up scotch and vodka mixed. And then, and then he drinks it, he takes a sip, sip. He doesn't wince from it and he's just like, that's good. No, it's not, Tommy. No, it's not. I see it. I see it, Colonel. Raiden, you didn't get all the control units. You weren't thorough enough. Take a good look at the airborne cipher. You can see the control unit for the IR sensor. The control unit is right above cipher's camera. Avoid shooting the camera at all costs. Looks like if a cipher is shot down, the resulting signal will trigger an explosion. Well, shit. The whole bridge would blow. Target only the control unit on the upper part of the cipher. Aim for the blinking light. Sacrifices must be made. Seagull population control. Peace off, bird. <laughs> Peace off, bird! <laughs> fucking blasted that bird into the next fucking century. Is it true that the movie Scarface has the word fuck in it 400, um, 4,400 times? 
I, I heard that, and it doesn't sound right. A little over 200. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, how do you... In, in a 90 minute movie or a two hour movie, how, how do you... Like, how do you, how do you do that? No way you could do 4K. Okay, let's say it's a two-hour movie. How many fucks would you need a minute to reach 4K? I need someone who can math properly. Three or four... What's this? Thirty-three per minute? Thirty-three fucks per minute. <laughs> I can do it. I can make this happen. Some of my streams, I've, I've reached that. Raiden, I found us a ride. I'm all ears. One of the enemy's Kasatkas. Is it in good shape? Full tank. I'm heading for Shell 1 now. What about that Harrier? It's not on the heliport here. Good. I'll set this one down there, then. Can you cover the hostages? They're being held on level B1 in the core. Pliskin, you didn't happen to find any other places where hostages were being held, did you? No, nothing like that. Okay. How many hostages are there? There's a few short of 30. One dead and several wounded. The Kasatka's cargo area will hold 13 max. What about the other Kasatka? I sabotaged it. It can't come after us if it can't get off the ground. Oh. We'll have to make two trips. Can you fly a Kasatka? I have a pilot who's flown the civilian model, the KA-62 in VR. There's not a whole lot of difference between the military KA-60 and the civilian model. Cleared for takeoff. Raiden, let me introduce you to my partner, Otacon. Otacon? Hey, Raiden. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Over here! Damn! Raiden, I'll talk to you later. There he is. Colonel, still I sounding bored. From you. Like Who me. Exactly is Pliskin and his partner. I know what you're thinking. It keeps coming back to Shadow Moses. And now this Otacon. AKA Hal Emmerich, PhD, a Shadow Moses survivor. Rose? Snake and Otacon both became fugitives after Shadow Moses, wanted for acts of terrorism. An anti Metal Gear organization. They sabotaged and destroyed countless Metal Gear units throughout the world. And were responsible for the incident two years ago that necessitated the construction of the Big Shell. Snake and his partner aren't terrorists. Jack, why are you defending them? I look back on what I've done here so far, and things like training and sense of duty alone won't get you through a sneaking mission like this. Jack, are you okay? You need something higher. I can't think of the right word, but... It has to be pure will, backed up by, by courage, or ideals, or, or something like that. I'd stake my life on it. The solid snake that saved Shadow Moses couldn't turn into a terrorist. Maybe that's true, but they went down with that tanker two years ago. The rules we of nature, huh? Snake's body. And the DNA test results on the body say it's him. Jack, I know what you're saying, but Snake is dead. He can't be here, not even as this Dr. Hal Emmerich. But that also means that he can't be the terrorist leader behind this thing. Wait a minute, so you mean the guy that looks and sounds like Solid Snake that's working with Hal Emmerich also isn't Solid Snake? Also, they sabotaged a fuckload of Metal Gears in between Metal Gear Solid 1 and Metal Gear Solid 2, right? Infinite missions for Konami to exploit. <gasps> for Pachinko. I've been waiting for you. A messenger from the Patriots. Where do I know him from? 
So you're the boss around here? No, not just around here. I'm the boss to surpass Big Boss himself. <laughs> Solid Snake. No, that is not Solid Snake. <laughs> Pleasant surprise, brother. Save it, you brother of mine. Don't say you've forgotten me, Snake. This outfit. Oh, by the way, there you go. Look, Snake. snake. Did you like it? Right, take cover. <laughs> different game from liquid fucking HGH Dude, it's called Fight Milk. I'm telling you, dude, it's gonna be huge. Oh, man, I don't know about Fight Milk, dude. It sounds a little gross. at will suit. The world needs only one big boss. I'll drown you fools for interfering. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm having trouble taking some of this serious. Anyone else? Right. This is the Stinger Missile Launcher. The Kasaka can't stand up to the Harrier. You have to shoot Just the some Harrier of it. down. Just some of it. Guess uh, I'm not ending two minutes ago, after all. Anyway, here's the Hind D fight. Just, you know, now it's a Harrier. Use this. It's even the same effect that Liquid has. Yeah, when you um when you shoot Liquid's Pine D, it kinda echoes in stereo, it's it's weird. I'm so tempted to shoot their helicopter. Whoops. We're on your side, 
<laughs> right, I'm fighting a Harrier, not a helicopter. I deserve that. I deserve that. Tit for tat. Don't just stand there, asshole. Harriers were armed with, like, Roman candles and not real missiles. Now I do. Pretty fucking cool fight, and, it, and you know, just just the fact that it's a Harrier is cool. Certainly an upgrade from a hind D. Except for the front boobs, which I'll we've discussed previously. It's <laughs> just a flesh wound. Someone in chat just said, most resilient and maneuverable Harrier of all time. Yep. What the? And in the end, it was the stairs that killed Raiden. And not the Harrier. hide behind a foot of metal. Surely a Harrier missile won't be able to penetrate that. Try dodging this!
Loggins. That's Metal Gear. It's already active. Legally, that's all I'm allowed to play. Oh, and there's some cool stuff happening on screen right now, too. Metal Gear Ray looks so fucking cool. Like your old man, huh? Fab, go! Ha! Wait, am I misremembering this, or does Vamp walk on water like Christ? It's gonna be my new cell phone ringtone. Yes, he does. He doesn't walk on. Oh, he runs on water. Hey, what's that? It's running on water. Still not the dumbest thing in this game. That might be the dumbest thing in this game. Okay, I'm closing guys? the Kenny Loggins song now. But we're all right. The chopper? We need some time for repairs. Oh, Tab closed. The president's all yours. Okay. Can I ask you something? What? Are you the snake? <sighs> they said you were dead. No, not me. There are still too many things I need to do. Snake, you're a legend, and that's why I need to ask you this. Legend? Can you sign a my legend game? Is nothing but fiction. Someone tells it, someone else remembers. Everybody passes it on. I'm here because I was assigned to this mission, not because I want to. If I could, I'd be out of here in a second. How could you come back to all this? Why keep fighting? There's something my best friend said to me once. What? We're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing I was good at, but at least I always fought for what I believed in. What about, what about the DNA results from that body? That was Liquid's body. He and Snake are identical on the genetic level. Liquid? A deception, for our own protection. We stole his frozen body from some organization. Kind of a hassle, though. That's all there is to it. <sighs> are you two really an NGO? Insofar as we're a non-profit organization of civilians advocating a cause, yes. The cause happens to be the eradication of Metal Gear. We work on our own, but it's a cause worth fighting for. Why would you stick ah! your neck out for something this risky? That's the way I used to look at it, four years ago. I was holed up in the middle of nowhere in Alaska, drinking too much. We have a responsibility to the coming generations, to the world. What responsibility? To keep track of the mistakes we've made as a species. We need to remember Thank you, to spread the word, to fight for change. And that's what keeps me alive. You think you can change the future? Nah, I'm not as arrogant as that. What you do isn't grassroots activism. It's more like terrorism. I admit that. But our group, Philanthropy, received some information. A new Metal Gear prototype was being developed here, and terrorists were planning to raid the facility. The information came from a very reliable source. So you're here to... We're here to stop all that. 
But I also have a personal motive. Looks like the terrorists have his sister in the big shell. We're here on our own, not under anyone's orders. We have our own battles. Otacon's here for someone. I'm not. This is a military mission. Jack, are you all right? Just barely. You almost gave me a heart attack. Rose, Sorry. I was talking it. It wasn't intentional. I know that. And I know I need to stay stronger. Say a prayer for me, Rose, so I can come back. You will make it back. I'm with you all the way, remember? That means a lot to me, you know. I'm going to save the data, okay, Jack? Save the data, please. Thank you. It's time for me to end the stream, so when I save the data, the stream will end. Colonel, Metal Gear's already gone active. It's not too late. You can still prevent a nuclear strike by securing the president and preventing password confirmation from taking place. Get to the president. He's in the core section of Shell 2. I'm checking the satellite images. Looks like you can get to the core from the other side of Strut L. The core hasn't gone under yet from what we can tell. Follow the railings down, then jump onto the pipes. The only viable strut in the outer perimeter is the L. That attack just now doesn't make any sense. It's like they have no more use for this place. Colonel, you were monitoring the codec calls. That man was the real snake all along. Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> Don't let your guard down with him. Why do you say that? Because they were never a part of the simulation. They're an unknown factor. You can take your simulation and... We're out here, we bleed, we die. Calm down. I suggest that you do, Raiden. Even if that is Snake, that has no bearing on your mission. Colonel, you and Snake used to be on the same side. I don't understand. I read about you and Snake in In the Darkness of Shadow Moses. I don't give a damn what that piece of trash said. Oh, shit! Oh! What could that mean? We'll find out next time, maybe, on Metal Gear Solid 2. I don't know. <sighs> Shit. To be continued. Alright, let's take a look at the, um, art. And Metal Gear Solid 2 will continue at a different time. I barely, let's see, how much did I drink? It is 375 milliliters. I probably had like 125 of those milliliters, maybe, maybe 150 of those milliliters. Not too bad. I, I'm not, it, it's tiny. It's a tiny bottle. I don't drink a lot. I'm not wasted. I had, it was like, you know, relaxation. Um, it was relaxation wine. I got a little bit, I got a little shitty. But it was fun. Um, this was a good, this was a good time. A lot of good events on the stream. <laughs> You're wasted enough for us. I swear to God, I'm not wasted. Bro. I'll tell the principal on you. What does this sound like at a quarter speed? It doesn't play. Oh my god. That's good. What do geese sound like? Good. Did you know that when you go to YouTube and you type geese in the top? So, here. Geese. 
Um, I don't think I can show you this. Hang on, geese. So we got, now I can show you. Geese. Geese sounds, geese attack, geese Howard. Excuse me? Who is that? Oh, it's a Tekken 7. Geese Howard? There's a dude named Geese Howard that is not, in fact, a goose. That's just his name. Okay. Well, I'm a little confused. It's a King of Fighters character. Oh, okay. That's still a strange name, and I didn't expect it to actually represent a human and not a goose. All right. Let's see what kind of art there is tonight. Um, oh, look, we're going until 4 a.m. again. I have complete control over my own life, I swear. Cheeky Minato's made this for Hollow Knight. Did I show this one already? I don't think so. From Jukuls. Here is art for Enter the Gungeon. And um, both great pieces so far. Two great games. But it's me as the Ro the Robert from Enter the Gungeon. You can tell by the hat. And it's the Vine Shroom. Good job. Um, big go. Big go te mushroom, I think is how you say that. Made this. It looks like a Vine Shroom with teeth. Good job. It's a little abstract. I like it. Elena D made this. This could almost end up being like a kind of a badge. That's what it looked like from a distance. But again, really good. As always. Like the cross section. Quality. Fuka Duck made this. This, the Wi-Fi, the toilet, the Poke Spirit. Amen. There is free Wi-Fi. There is toilet. There is Pokemon. James the Tactician made this. I am a classy individual. I'm wearing a scoot shirt. I must be. You know that Mio stuff, the flavor? Liquid water enhancer. And um, you put it in water, and it makes it taste like a thing or whatever. Well, berry pomegranate, that's what I've been using lately for my water. For a little um, blast of flavor. It says that you're not supposed to use it alone. It says always dilute. I'm going to try it. Ah! Yep, no, that's not good. And I only got like a small squeeze. Like, I got so little, but it was enough that it, like, started burning my tongue. That's good. I guess I, guess I got to drink some wine to get the taste out of my mouth. Uh, anyway, I'm a classy individual. Good picture for that moment. Um, hi, ho he. I feel like it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. It wasn't, like, Vegemite or something gross like that. It was just flavor. It's like flavor juice, you know? 
Hi ho he one says, "Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time?" To Sin City, I guess Sin City giving me wine, you know, and a nice Alolan uh, Garfield gift was very nice of him. However, all I had in return was egg. I mean, listen, with enough egg, it ends up being like three hundred dollars. So. It's just a matter of, like, I can't give him, like, all 300 egg. So, Whiskey Neat made this. Foxhound, Vine Shroom. Nice work. Solid Snake themed. Love it. Rabid Rodent made. Hello, Rodent. You should check out my roller skates. Unbelievable. Vinny, just buy him a Tenga egg. That would be a good gift. It's like one in every 50 Vine Sauce brand Nutty Putty eggs has a Tenga egg inside of it. Vine Slime Sale from Hell Yeah. You can make your own slime. Apparently laundry detergent and glue. I don't recommend that, by the way. Ray Skids made this. This this did happen. Everyone wanted me to crawl over the book. But it was too late. Vinny, I'm making my own slime right now. I don't think I want to know that. I think I know where you're, you know, what you're trying to imply. The implication is disturbing. Here's one from Arch one uh, Arch four three two one. You must be Ames. You must be Ames. You must be Ames. Love the riding face you made. Perfect face. And this one's from BB the Budgie. This was funnier in my head. It says, uh, it's Chibi Snake and Japanese toy capsule thing because Benny mentioned it once. Yeah. What was that weird fucking thing that was, was on in Japan? It was like, um, it was like snake on prompter in Japan. Um, it was, it was a fucking weird thing. I can't find it on YouTube, but I can explain it. It was like in Times Square, how they have the TV, like the TVs, you know, like the, the prompters. Um, it was one of those and it was like really badly animated solid snake beating up like a robot or Ronald McDonald or something. What's this? Okay, this this is not it. Okay then. All right, well, um, that's the stream. Thanks for watching. If I find that video, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, tweet that shit to me, and I'll show it next time I stream. Um, next time I stream Metal Gear Solid, because it is really, really, really worth seeing. Hang on, did someone find it? No, that's not it. It's not KFC. Let's try this one. I no, Goose Howard, no. All right, whatever, next time. Um, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Check out Vinesauce.com if you want to watch some other streamers or twitch.tv slash team slash Vinesauce. Um, wine sauce can be watched from this stream, too. You could just wait here for the um, 
for the auto host and you will get a number of wine sauce streamers and uh yeah so check them out i'm sure there's there's a lot of people that you could you could be watching when i'm done here if you're you know if it's you know if you're still here if you want to continue watching streams for you for them for everybody good night and tomorrow trash <laughs>